Hey YouTube. So father and son adventures here. We're back in the woods. Skeeters are kind of getting at me here. I'm going to put some bug spray on, but I just got my pack off. So um, I'm going to set up some camp here. Looks like my table's still intact. Uh, this place has been flooded most of June. You can see all the drift stuff, all the wood. There's plenty of firewood. Um, fireplace pit still in the place that it was. Anyway, um, what, I, what I was going to show you was uh, uh, my version of a, Cro a Roy Croft pack. And what I use is the um, it's a Stan Sport freighter pack. So it's a modern day, you know, harness and waist belt and all that. But then I um, I hook it up and lash it, all my stuff on there. That pack weighs about 60 pounds. But uh, yep, it works out pretty good. There's my day pack and lunch or meals, a haversack and sweeping stuff. And there's a tarp. So I'm going to get all this unpacked and I'll show you what the uh, pack looks like just uh, as a frame. Okay, I got that uh, freight, freighter, they call it a freighter pack. And it's a stand sport. I bought it from on Amazon for like 59 bucks. They still have them on Amazon. Um, and then there's my day pack. That's a tent I'm going to do a product review on. I'm probably not going to sleep in it because I've got a hammock and tarp and everything. Sleeping, uh, well, there's a wool blanket and a pillow in there, a small little pillow, and a little mattress pad. So I'm going to start a fire, see if I can get rid of some of these mosquitoes. Stay tuned. All right, got the hammock set up. I'm gonna put the bug net up next. I uh, got a fire going, and guess what? The bugs quit. A little bit of a breeze. Anyway, laying in the hammock, it was pretty comfortable just for a few minutes. Oh, see if I can do this one hand. Oh my gosh, it's comfortable. Maybe I'll have to take a nap. Anyway, Tyler's with the rest of his family. I talked to Sydney today. She called me from boot camp. That was really nice. So anyway, stay tuned YouTube. We'll uh, get back to you. Got the bug net up, got the shelter up, fire's going, there's some firewood over there, gonna get some uh, supper going here pretty quick. Alright, we're frying up a little chicken breast, and in the pot is uh, this uh, Kenora cheddar broccoli rice. And pasta, and then boil a little water to uh, do the dishes with. I'll get back to you. This place is jumping with frogs. I caught one. I I got it on my uh, hook or uh, a weighted hook. See what happens.
All right, in a previous video, I showed this timber. And again, this timber's been um, flooded most of the summer already. But um, we got the we got a lake over here, which you guys saw that I was fishing at. And then we got, um, and there's camp. And then we've got uh, the Wapsi River, the Wapsi Pinnacan River is uh, this way. So I'm going to I'm going to walk out there and uh, show it to you. All right, just to give a point of reference. Um, I've shown this area before and these are the two uh, maple trees that fell over the spring when it was flooded. And that um, now that all the water's down Hell, I think I'm going to come fishing over here in the morning. I just saw a big catfish. Um, now that all the water's down, that's just a huge sandbar over there. This river probably is only, well, I can see the bottom right there. It's probably only five or six feet deep at the deepest. Like over there, it's probably deeper. But right here, it's pretty, um, pretty shallow. But anyway, these sandbars, they just show up and uh, you got um, the, the whole river changes all the time because of it. Anyway, stay tuned. Morning YouTube. It's uh, 7:33. Man, I slept great. I'm all snuggled in the wool blanket here in the hammock. I got a self-inflating pad underneath. Didn't get cold at all. I don't think I even put the blanket on until like two in the morning. But, um, really good night's sleep. I, I usually sleep on my side, but I've been able to sleep on my back all, all night. Anyway, I'm going to get up and get going, make some breakfast, and do some fishing today. So, stay with me. There's that mosquito. Got one mosquito that got in here. Oh, sun. He's trying to come up. Okay, so Iowa's version of a bear bag. We just hang it up in the tree because we don't have bears, but we do have rac raccoons. So, it's not going to keep them from getting into it, but it, it, it will deter them. Alright guys, I filtered some water, I'm cooking some breakfast. I thought I'd just take a couple of minutes and do a, a shout out to some YouTube channels. Um, some of them I think do watch my channel. Some of them I just, I love their channels, so that's why the shout out. Um, Shane Coffee, I've seen all your videos, man. I, I like what you're doing with your young kids. Um, I really also like what you're doing with uh, Steve. Can't, sorry, Steve, I can't thank you your last name and uh, that you go with uh, K-Dog Crazy on different things. Someday I'd love to meet up with you guys. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Um, K-Dog's got a lot of beautiful scenery. 
So, next shout out to K-Dog. Um, what you do with uh, your family when you went to uh, uh, Devil's Tower, that was cool. Um, just just really enjoy all your all your videos, man. Um, Jason, Jason Fishaholic Schneider, he hooks up with Bob 808 Knight. Um, Jason actually lives about an hour from me, so hopefully uh, sometime he and his kids can meet up. Um, go on a day hike or something uh, Bob 808 night man, you're you're uh, you're funny. I love your videos um, You always uh, You're always out doing it man. I appreciate that um, W a w hiker or wa hiker Bill and Cooper Cooper is a little uh, cocker spaniel. He's funny uh, Bill doesn't put himself on video all that much, although from silhouette of his shadows, uh, he's a skinny guy, he's probably good looking, whatever, but um, he really is all about the, um, uh, the mountains, you know, and the snow and, and all that, and he hasn't got out much this summer, but um, I appreciate the couple of videos you've thrown out, man. Um, MJ Masterson, and these guys are over in Ireland, um, Michael and Taylor. Um, they've been playing around with fireworks, firecrackers. Um, I think they probably had a pretty busy summer. I don't know if it's summer for you guys or not, but because um, he hasn't got out hiking or whatever much. But uh, 51 Foxy, Paul. I don't, I, I'm guessing you don't watch any of my videos at all, man, but um, he's got a couple of dogs that he takes with him. Bob and Frankie. Uh, Bob is uh, interesting. He's just about as tall as he is wide, but uh, he looks like a cute little dog. Um, anyway, man, keep up your videos. I love them. And I'll tell you what, the last one I saw, uh, the Igloo Cooler, you know, I could buy an igloo cooler for 20 and cost me 60 to get it to you, so it's kind of crazy. But anyway, um, one of my good favorite channels, uh, he's kind of become a friend and I, I appreciate his videos. Um, Alan from the Pharaoh channel. Keep rocking it, dude. And uh, nice pictures of your girlfriend there, buddy. Um, William Collins. He's got a YouTube channel called WC Knives, or William Collins is his uh, channel. But um, he's got, he builds knives. They're beautiful knives, man. They're pretty reasonable too, you know, 150, 180 bucks, something like that. But um, you just have to look at his knives, man. They're really cool. Um, and he's got a great sense of humor. Um, he's an author. I haven't bought his book yet, but I'm going to. He's got a couple of books out. Uh, the last one here, Darren, I'm sure you probably have never seen any of my videos, but Funky Prepper. Man, you, uh, you got a great sense of humor. I really, uh, I really enjoy your videos a lot. And uh, just in uh, your honor, I brought a pint of, well, not a pint, but I, bought, I brought some uh, bourbon on my camp trip. So I don't smoke anymore because I had a heart attack in January, but uh, hey, I'm feeling good. Would have loved to have had one of them stogies with you, but I can't do that. Anyway, that's uh, my shout outs, and uh, we're going to do some breakfast, and then I'm going to break up camp and uh, hopefully get some fishing in. Take care, man. Bye. Hey, YouTube. Look how big this bluegill is. Nice. Channel cat. I caught both of these in about, well, on each each one on the first cast, and uh, uh, about two minutes apart. Yes, that's what it's all about right here, man. Look at this guy. Holy Moses, this is bigger than my hand. I've got uh, three catfish and about five bluegill, six bluegill right now. And I've only been fishing for about an hour and a half. Maybe an hour. Gotta go.
Alrighty, so we got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like nine catfish. And man, these crappies are big compared to your hand. Oh, wow. Or not crappies, uh, bluegill. Alright, so. I had one snake try to come up and see what I was doing. Um, anyway, YouTube, I think I'm going to uh, finish up and I've caught enough fish. I'm not going to be greedy. But um, we're going to bluegill tonight and we're going to have catfish probably next weekend. So uh, peace out.